What's up, y'all? With the Film Culture News, it's your boy Dre. On Sunday, June 6th, Floyd Mayweather, aka The GOAT, and Logan Paul had their long awaited fight in Miami, Florida at the Hard Rock Stadium. The longtime fighter faced off against popular YouTuber and professional boxer Logan Paul. Floyd Mayweather has been fighting since his youth, with this one being his second exhibition fight post retirement. Though this fight was for bragging rights, it wouldn't affect Floyd's undefeated record. In addition to Floyd's 50-0, 27 of those include knockouts. As far as Paul is concerned, he is 0-1 in his professional boxing career with his loss being to a UK YouTuber, KSI, in 2019. Floyd Mayweather earned $10 million while receiving 50% of the pay-per-view sales while Logan was a guaranteed $250,000 and earning 10% of the pay-per-view sales. When it comes to legalized bank robbing, I'm the best. 44-year-old <laughs> Mayweather weighed in at 155 pounds, the most he's ever weighed while standing at 5'8", with Logan Paul weighing at 189 and a half, standing at the height of 6'2". There was a 35 pound weight difference between the two, with Paul potentially being fined 100 grand for every pound over 190. The fight itself featured eight three minute rounds with boxers wearing 10 ounce gloves and no headgear. Since this was an exhibition fight, there were no judges nor an official announced winner with knockouts being legal. While we were all hoping for a knockout by Floyd, Paul surprisingly went the full eight rounds well, Mayweather stated that Logan Paul was better than he thought. Regardless of the fact, Floyd completely outclassed him statistically, landing 40% of his total punches to Logan's 13%. What are your thoughts on the exhibition and who stood out more? With the Film Culture News, it's your boy Dre. Be sure to follow the Film Culture to keep up to date on all things black culture. Peace. So y'all can keep y'all can write the stories that y'all want to write. I don't care if y'all write good stories. I don't care if y'all write bad stories. At the end of the day, I will always have a last laugh.